Welcome back. It's me, Andrew again from Andrew Uncharted. And today we're going to talk about eight separate travel items that I've found through my planning my trip around the world. Living out of only a backpack for a long period of time means that everything in your backpack has to have a purpose. And that's where some of these items come in. So let's get started. The the first item is a packable day pack. If you aren't familiar with what that is, just think a small backpack. Now you might be looking at this and thinking, that's not a backpack, that looks like a small, weirdly shaped travel pillow. Watch, you just unzip it here, and it turns inside out. There you go, full travel bag. Now this one in particular is the Tortuga Set Out Day Pack. It's water resistant and it's 19 liters. Uh, you can generally get away with less when it comes to packable day packs, something between like 10 to 15 liters depending on what you're bringing with you. Since I have a rather large laptop and some camera gear, I figured bigger would be better. And it still packs down super small, so it's really, it's really easy to use. It also has these nifty little water bottle pouches on the side. It has a big inner space, which is nice. So, Packable day pack, definitely something that you should want if you're going to be backpacking long term. Item number two. This probably looks a little weird, huh? This is the Scrubba wash bag. Now, if it looks like a little bit of a mess, then that's because it is, and I, I guess I haven't figured out how to roll it properly yet. When you unroll it, it becomes this huge laundry bag. You toss your dirty clothes into here, and you fill it with water and a little bit of soap. There are plastic nubs on the inside. So you fill up, you wash it, and then you pour it out and hang dry it. It's a really great way to wash clothes on the road when you might not be near a laundromat or um, however else you wash your clothes. This is perfect for being on the road, living in hostels a lot, or if you're gonna be camping and stuff like that. It also makes it so you're not spending extra money on uh, washing your clothes either. Roll this thing back up again, that'd be pretty dope. The next item on this list is travel specific clothing, specifically merino wool shirts and socks and shoes, and insect repellent shirts. So, for instance, the shirt I'm wearing right now is made by Icebreaker. It's made with merino wool, I believe like 70 something percent, and the rest is polyester. The benefits of merino wool are it doesn't smell, meaning you have to wash it less. I wore it rock climbing and then went to the gym three times and it didn't smell. And I sweat a lot, so that's saying something. It dries quickly and it's adaptable when it comes to the climate. So it'll keep you warmer on cold days, and it'll keep you cooler on hot days. That doesn't stop with shirts. It also applies to socks and it applies to shoes. For socks, I normally stick with Darn Tough. I wore the long ones to Iceland and they were perfect, kept my toes warm. They didn't get all sweaty. It was fantastic. And then for these, these are all birds. They're also made with merino wool. They're, uh, I believe, manufactured in New Zealand, and they are the most comfortable pair of shoes I've ever owned. They're really easy to clean. You just toss them in the wash. They maintain their shape. They don't smell. Yeah, these don't smell yet. Yeah, I'm a, a huge fan. The next piece of clothing is the Craghopper Long Sleeve Shirt. This has two really cool properties. The first is that it's insect repellent. The shirt's made with a material called polyethylene and it's good for up to 70 washes. And this material keeps away insects, which is important when you're in a place like Thailand or the Philippines, where you can catch diseases like malaria or dengue fever from the mosquitoes and the other insects there. So combining shirts like these with your uh, use of bug spray like DEET is a good combination. The shirt's also 15 SPF, so it means you're getting some protection from the sun. Obviously still wear sunblock, because if you burn as easily as I do, you're gonna have a bad time. I also get tan easy too, so I don't know how that works. Don't use me as an example. Next item is a travel adapter, or a universal travel adapter. This one doesn't have a brand. I bought it off of Amazon for I think $10, but it's super simple. Uh, you have your universal inputs here, you have your universal outputs there, and then your slider here. So all you have to do is slide out whichever one you want to use, and there you go. And it also has two USB slots on the bottom. So with just one of these, then you're going to be set for all of the EU, all of uh, UK, Australia, and the United States. So throw one of these in your bag. You're gonna need it. You need to charge your phone uh, to use Instagram and check Reddit and all that stuff. Universal travel adapter, get one. Next travel item, a power bank or an external battery. 
these things will save your life, maybe. I mean, they're heavy enough, you could probably beat somebody with it. It's going to make sure that you can charge your phone, your camera, GoPro, whatever electronics you have on you. Especially with your phone, that's going to be really important if you're using it for things like navigation or for translation. This is the RAV Power. It is 16750 mAh. I don't know what that means, but I do know that this can charge my phone up to five and a half times, I believe, off one charge. So always throw one of these into your packable day pack and then you're never gonna have to worry about having a dead phone again. Now this one's kind of a twofer because you have your sleep mask and your earplugs. And these are really important because some people can be assholes and hostile. So if you're sleeping and somebody decides to barge into your multi-bed bunk at night, then uh, yeah, he might turn on the light or start making noise and that's where these guys come in. Don't know what brand of this I'm wearing right now, uh, but I know that the Earplugs are, yeah, they're Max. Um, these are suggested on Reddit. Uh, they're supposed to mold to your ear and you know make it snore proof and all that stuff. And this is just one that I found on Amazon for $10. It's called Hominy. It has padding for your eyes, which is kind of neat. Pretty nice, it's super comfortable. And it'll make it so you can sleep through the night and not have to worry about uh, drunk assholes who might wander through your bed or your bedroom or whatever. Next up is the Chromecast. The Chromecast might be something that you don't think about, but if you're staying at a hotel or an Airbnb that has a TV, then it's really useful to be able to plug this in and then connect your phone or your computer to that TV. So then you can watch Netflix or whatever you might want. But yeah, Chromecast, it can help you fill that Game of Thrones shaped hole in your life when you're on the road. So pick up one of these. I don't like that I'm flopping this like this. Last but not least, you have the Sawyer water filtration system. Uh, these are these little bag-like water bottles that you could fill up, and they come with this cool filter that you just screw on the top, drink through the top, just like that. So this filter is rated for 100,000 gallons of filtration, and it's supposed to keep out 99.9999% of all bacteria and protozoa. That means it's going to keep out things like Giardia, Salmonella, Cholera, and Crypto Cryptosporidium. Is that like Bitcoin? And on top of that, even if you use it without the filter, it's a super packable little water bottle. So it's not taking up any space in your backpack. That's very important. And the pack I got, I believe, comes with a 16 ounce 32 ounce and 64 ounce bag. So yeah, these flat little water bottles are perfect to be able to fit in your backpack on your long-term adventures. Thank you, Tim, for showing these to me on our trip to Iceland. These will always be a part of my bag now. So those are the eight travel items that I think are super useful to bring with you on your long-term backpacking trip. Uh, do you have any other item suggestions? If so, comment below, let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next video.